In this video, let's look at how team management works in Document 360. There are two types of user accounts in Document 360, team accounts and readers accounts. A team account is used by your internal team that builds and manages the knowledge base. A reader account can be considered your users for whom the knowledge base is built. Here, we'll focus on team accounts. The team management page is divided into three tabs. The first is the team members tab. Here, you can do things like invite new users to the team, choose a level of permissions for this user, and a few other security options. First, you will need to provide the email ID of the team member in the email section. Next, you'll need to decide what level of access this user will be granted. Document 360 ships with four default roles, but you also have the option of creating custom roles, which we'll look at a little later. The admin and owner roles have elevated privileges and have access to things like settings and billing. The draft writer can write articles but cannot publish them. The editor will have permission to edit, write, and publish articles. Next, you'll find a couple of security options. You can add them to a specific security group, or depending on the role selected, you can give predefined access either to the complete project, version, or category. The next tab is Security Groups, and here you can create predefined security profiles which can then be assigned to your users. For example, you can have a security group for your editors, another one for your reviewers, and another for your readers. This enables you to apply a security profile from multiple users at once instead of assigning them individually for each user. The third tab is a Roles tab and is a bit more advanced. As stated earlier, Document 360 ships with four roles by default, and here you can customize the permissions for any of these roles to your liking. For example, if you want to edit the draft writer role to have the permission to backup articles, just select the role and in the Backup and Restore section, enable Perform Backup. If you find that these default roles are not meeting your needs, you can create your own custom roles. Just click on the Add New Role button give it a meaningful name and description, and set the permissions. Although the default roles are built to suit most needs, it's nice to have the flexibility of creating custom roles, especially in enterprise scenarios. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out more videos in the tutorial section.